take out 20000 and do what with it? Bring it back home and, I and sit around with the money? I will. Yes, I understand it perfectly well. You're, you're an ignorant little fool. And you, you think you're just going to get out of uh, paying me the rest of my money? I'm you're going to take me to court? Are you threatening legal action against me? Uh, what, what, where, where are you located? California, hello? The other guy said you were in Tennessee. Thank you for calling PayPal. This is Harry. Uh, yes, Harry, I, I received an email and I need you to look into this. I, I have an invoice. It's PA913662529. Miss Eras, as I can see, Miss, there is a PayPal, uh, there is a purchase of BTC, which will cost you $499. I believe you're talking about this BTC, right? Yes, $399. I would like to know more information. But should I send an yeah, email? Yeah, it's $399. Or... Miss, uh, do you have, uh, where are you right now? Because I can see that your voice was breaking. Where are you right now? At your home? Yes, I'm at my house. I'm in my office on my computer. Uh, so in front of your computer, okay? Yes, I, I was just checking my uh, emails. Okay, let me do one thing, Miss Adas. I will give you your ID and your password of your PayPal, okay? Which it has been used from different location, okay? Then I will connect you with a PayPal server. Then we will check that how we can cancel this refund, okay? We will give you the refund amount form that you can cancel the form or they can cancel the purchase and get your refund money back, okay? Let me provide you the form, okay? Oh, thank you. You need to I, do I was one thing. You need on to follow email, my instructions so I can I connect you with the PayPal server. Of and I will give you your password and your email of your PayPal, okay? By the help of this, we will connect you with the PayPal server, okay? Right now, you are using Windows, correct? Yes, I'm on a Windows computer. Okay, just open the Google Chrome. Okay, hold on a second. This is your first time that you're facing this kind of problem with the PayPal? Yes, this is the first time. I've never experienced anything like this in the past. It, it oh, says you never a, a Norton antivirus. What was the last time you checked your PayPal account? Can you tell me? Like, well, that's how long the thing. Not I, using I don't even have PayPal. That's the thing. That's just so weird. Oh, and, you don't. Oh, oh. It means that somebody created a fake PayPal account. Oh, I think you know, so. What I, I, we're going to do, Miss Adas, uh, we will freeze that PayPal account for the 24 hours, okay? You need to just complete the online procedure, then my technician going to uh, com uh, cast that culprit, whoever is created a fake PayPal account, okay? That we will give you the cancellation form that you can cancel this purchase first, okay? Okay. I I think I caught half of what you said. So there's a, a technical team that's going to reach out to me? Yeah, they're going to, once I will transfer your call to the technical team or billing department, okay? They're going to help you in that case. Right now, you need to just ca fill the cancellation form, okay? I will provide you. Let me connect you with the uh, PayPal server. Then I will okay. give you the cancellation ID, like ID and password, okay? No, I, I don't really use the computer an awful lot. Um, I mostly just pay my bills and check my Amazon. I, uh, mm -hmm. I, I do check my online banking and stuff like that, but I... I don't have PayPal. Do I just go to the PayPal website, or how uh, do I yeah. how do I sort this out? Ah, uh, okay, I got it. You don't have PayPal account. It might be it must be somebody created a fake PayPal account. That person have your identity, right? So don't worry, Miss. Uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna freeze this PayPal account for the 24 hours. Okay. In this meantime, we will uh, cancel the purchase and we will try to catch the culprit that you never face kind, this kind of problem in the future. Okay. Okay. Now, what do you can see on the screen, ma'am? Can you tell me? Oh, I see a, a PayPal uh, form. And I click on you can see the PayPal refund form, right? Yes, I see So you I need to fill that. the information, okay? For the cancellation purpose, just fill this information. Once you're done, then do the name, okay? Okay. All right. Now, Miss, what do you can see? Did you see that says, thank you for response? Your refund has been initiated. Please check your online banking and accept the refund. Okay, Miss, now you need to accept the refund amount from your bank, okay? And once you complete, once you got your refund amount, then say, hello, Harry, I got the refund, okay? You can tell them. 
Okay. No, I didn't get I didn't get it yet. Okay, you check the refund that you didn't got the refund into your bank? No, I didn't. I just checked. Oh, all right. Let me do one thing. Next. Let me transfer your call to the billing department, okay? Then they will talk to you and they will let you know what you can do for that, okay? Give me a moment. Hold on over there. Okay. Thank you for being on hold. Can I, like, uh, how are you doing today, ma'am? Well, my my back is sore and I... I'm having a little bit of a medical issue, but I, I'm I'm hanging in there. How are you doing? Okay. And like you have already filled up the refund form, right? Yes, I did. Okay. And did you check your online banking for the refund link? Because we have already yes, sent you the refund link. Did you check it? Yes, I, I just checked. And uh, the previous technician uh, told me that I could I could do that, but... I checked my bank okay, and, and it, it wasn't there. So we are directly going to connect you to the banking server, all right? So if you see anything happening on your computer screen, then just let me know that, uh, Michael, something is happening on my computer screen and I can see something changes, okay? So if you see that, then just let me know. Well, my computer is updating. It, it, it's a blue screen. Okay, that means that your computer is updated. Okay, all right. So just give me a moment. Once it is updated, you just have to let me know that, uh, Michael, my computer is updated. And one more thing is that since we were trying to send you the refund and it was not happening, so we are going to make the transaction into two parts. Okay, like we are going to send you the money in two parts. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because the total was 400. So if you divide 400 by 2, it makes around like $200. How much? Uh, because the refund should be 399.99. Yeah, the refund is 399. Let me explain you once again. The refund is 399. But if you go ahead and divide that, because like you can make it as a round figure of 400. So if you just go ahead and divide 400 by into two parts, then the each part is going to be $200, right? Uh, well, I, I don't know the math. I, I would need to pull out my calculator to figure that out. Not a problem, not a problem. Once you get the screen, just let me know. I'm going to guide oh, my you computer and help updating. you with the rest I, of the I can course. see. Yes, welcome to banking. I beg your pardon? But I don't see my your wallpaper. Your computer is back. I, I don't see my wallpaper, though. You, you don't see the wallpaper. Okay, just give me a moment because I think that from the server you are connected. That is the reason you don't see the wallpaper. Okay, can you see? Your partner will not be able to reconnect after you close Ultra Viewer. So we are going to close because this is the only sign. Okay, if anyone is connected with your computer, the wallpaper just disappears. And if anyone just disconnects from your computer, your wallpaper comes back. Okay? Oh, now your okay. wallpaper is there, right? Yes, I can see my wallpaper again. Right, right. So can you see that there is a green color box opened up in front of you on your computer? Yes, I see that. Right. This is the online banking server department. Okay. Through this server, we are going to make the transaction. Okay. So what you need to do is that you just need to see what is what they are asking over there. And if you don't understand anything, you just let me know, okay? You just have to use your keyboard and type in the answers. They will this be asking you some uh, of the basic enter information. Your name. Okay, just type in your name over there from the keyboard, okay? And don't press enter or control or shift or anything like that. Just type in your name. Okay, I did that. Okay, and after that, what are they asking you? Please enter the refund amount. Okay, so now just put the refund amount. You have to put a dollar sign, and as I told you that in the first transaction, we will be putting up 200 as a refund amount. So you have to put a dollar sign, and you have to put 200, which is 200. Okay. You will see that the cursor is blinking. Oh, wait a second. What the hell just happened? Extra zeros came in there. Yeah. What happened? Extra zeros popped up onto the bank portal. 
Okay, so just delete it. That's not a problem. It might be possible that you might have pressed it a bit harder because the computer keys are very sensitive. So if you want, you can just delete that extra zero sure. before the I'm transaction gets very fast. Okay? But it's not erasing. Not erasing, and what is it showing? Like it's like the cursor is on the same line, or is it gone to the other line? I don't know. It says twenty thousand has been credited, but that can't be right. My refund should have been three ninety nine dot ninety nine. And how much did you put over there? Like you put two thousand, like you put extra zero over there? No, I did everything you told me. I typed in the dollar sign, and then I typed in two zero zero, and somehow it it, okay. it added two extra zeros in it. Well, whatever that okay. means, I so guess you're I can saying just call my that it became twenty thousand. And should I hit escape? Oh my! No, no, don't hit escape. Was it? What is it showing? The transaction status, transaction completed, or anything like that? It just says congratulations. Your account has been credited. Please check your bank account. Oh my goodness! That means that the transaction is verified. Just give me a moment, okay? Just let me uh, take you out of this box and take you back to your Google Chrome, okay? And you just have to have a look on the Google Chrome on your checking account, okay? And just let me know, okay? Oh my God! Don't click anywhere. My mouse doesn't work. So what is? Yeah, because your bank is connected with the central banking server. That's the reason your mouse is not working. So don't click anywhere because oh, your Jesus. bank is still connected to our bank. I got, Let's check the I got statement $20, and check the in my bank account balance. from from your company, sir. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Oh my goodness! Oh good lord! Oh my god! Well, 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 thank you like very you much. I, I appreciate that, Michael. What am I going to do with all that extra money? I I can't believe well, it. Even I don't know. Even I can't believe this, man. It's totally like I was not expecting this. And like your available balance has also gone up by twenty thousand. Yes, I I jotted down my balance. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my I, God! Just be on hold, okay? Just let me confirm from my side. It went up an extra twenty thousand. That is what I'm confirming, ma'am. I'm just checking my account, my company's account. We will try our best to cancel this transaction, to reverse this transaction. But if it doesn't happen, then we won't have any option left. But we have to try other different options. Okay. But my so mouse got disabled. I can't click on anything. Don't click on anything, ma'am. Don't click on anything. Just give me a moment, okay? Just let me try and see because I just logged in into my, my account and it is showing twenty thousand has been debited from our checking account, from our business account, zero seven eight nine, right? And like uh, twenty thousand has been debited. So we will just try and we will make a charge back, okay? So just be on the line. We will just try and make a charge back on this amount and see what happens, okay? So just okay. be on the line. So. What you need to do, madam, is that you need to go ahead and return this money back to us. All right? Right. I I can call my bank and have them reverse it. I I have the no, toll free cannot, number to my cannot, bank. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain to you how you have to return it. Okay? Because it's not so easy that you can just call your bank and reverse the transaction because we had already tried to reverse it. And it did not work. Hold okay. on a second, Michael. So first of all, grab a calculator. Wait a minute. Just wait a first minute. First of all, log wait out of your account. Just wait. Sign out of your account. Okay. Michael, wait. And open the calculator. I thought of something very important. Uh, before I call my bank, we have to wait for the second refund because we split it into two transactions. Don't you, you don't remember? You have to call your bank, ma'am. Well, I'm going to wait till I get the second refund before I do call my bank. The bank will yes, have to know yes. about it. There's probably going to be taxes you'll have to pay, but I'm I'm willing to fix it. That is, I just have to call the bank after is, I get my yeah, second yeah, refund. Yeah, that is what I'm saying. You don't have to call your bank right now, but first you need to listen to what I'm saying and you need to follow the instructions. First, you just sign out of your bank account, okay? Because you will be calling your bank, but not right now. Well, my mouse stopped working when I tried to use it last. 
try and use your mouse try and uh, move your mouse and see if it is working because it was working when you signed in it was working right uh, yes it was working before oh it's back to work it works okay again. just sign out just sign out Online of the bank. banking okay. transfer from mighty savings now what is that what I I saw online banking transfer from my savings account. Did you see that? No, no, I don't. I didn't see that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me just check once. Okay, it might be possible that like uh, your bank might have shown it to you over there. So once the screen comes back, just let me know, okay? Because it's not possible for uh, the bank to transfer 20,000 from your savings account because I believe 20,000 was not there in your savings account in the first place, right? I, I don't, I, I jotted down my, my checking balance. It was at $9,437.80. Okay. So what you need to do is that before like you don't have to click anywhere because you already saw the statement in each and everything so I want you to sign out okay I don't want you to be signed in into your bank account because your bank account is connected with the central banking server okay now just make a calculation 20,000 20,000 yeah and now subtract your refund amount which is four hundred dollars no it was, it was 200 no, it was 400. The total amount was 400, ma'am. We split it into two transactions. Did you forget? Right. Uh, you so know what? Uh, can I speak to somebody else? I don't think you know how to do your job correctly. I, we should have never split that into two transactions, and that's where the problem started. I was just trying to make it easier because when we were putting in 400, it was not happening. So that's the only reason I put in... I asked you to put the transaction into two parts. I was just trying to help you. So did you make the subtraction? Uh, yes. Now, what is the remaining amount coming? 19,800. 19,800. That's correct. So that means that 19,800 is the amount you have got extra, right? Oh, take the cash out of the bank? I, I don't think so. That's dangerous. That's a lot of money. That's not going to be dangerous. Once you take the cash out from the account, I am going to let you know an ATM. You have to go and deposit that money in the ATM, okay? But I'm going to have to call my bank. for I, I Take out 20000 in cash? Why do you have to call them to take out the cash? No, I don't. I I was going to call them to see if they could just reverse the transfer, though. I, I'm i not going to go take out 20000 Are you crazy? We have already had a word with them. We have already spoke to the bank. They cannot reverse the transaction. And you already saw that when we tried to reverse the transaction, it took out all the money from your account, right? But yes, so I, I saw something. that. I, I have to ask them about that, too. I, 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 can't, I can't go to the bank and take out that money. We have, to, we have to do it in this only possible way. We need to understand that. Because if you call your bank and ask them to reverse the transaction, they will charge you around 20% of the taxes. So are you willing to pay it from your pocket? Do you have that much well, of extra I, money? We, they can take it out of your 20000 I I don't care. It's it's no, just the company's cannot, money. It's cannot, not my money. We, I'm not going to pay that We cannot afford to pay that money. We, we don't have that much of money, ma'am. We cannot afford to pay that. You so just put $20,000 in my tax. bank account and you're trying to tell me that you don't have money? I'm saying that we cannot afford to pay 20% taxes. That's bullshit. Why do we... You have the money in my bank account. You can afford it. Right, so that's what I'm saying. You have to go and withdraw the cash. That's what I'm asking you. Why would I take out the cash? Because if you take out the cash, they will not charge you any taxes. There is no taxation. There is no fee. There is nothing involved in withdrawing the cash. Yes, there you is. You have to pay your taxes. Otherwise, you're going to... They'll shut your business down if you don't pay your tax. Are you stupid?
I, I am not about to commit tax fraud. You're not understanding, madam. What I'm simply saying... Yes, I understand it perfectly before... well. You're trying to convince me to break the law and not pay the tax that's owed. I am not stupid. Okay, so if they tax you, you pay the tax. Okay, but most if they catch me pay the tax, are you listening to yourself uh, speak, sir? You, you don't have you don't have the first. Uh, okay, can I speak to your supervisor, please? I I don't think you're eligible to help me any longer. I you have to pay your taxes, otherwise what happens? You tell me right now okay. what happens if you don't pay your tax. Okay. I know what happens. I what? know, and I'm not denying. I'm not denying that I'm not going to pay my taxes. I'm is this a recorded that, line? This is a recorded line, ma'am. This is a recorded line. Then, for the record, do you tell me what happens to somebody that doesn't pay their taxes? They go to jail. Obviously, I know. Right. And, and who is going to go to jail for not paying the tax? You or me? Because it's not going to be me. When you withdraw the cash from your account. Your bank is not going to charge you any fee, okay? But when you deposit the cash into my account, then we will pay the fee from that amount. So you don't have to bear that amount. You don't have to pay it from your pocket. No, That's I, what I, I'm trying to say. I, I don't know about that. That sounds risky. They're going to see the 20000 in my bank and start asking me questions. I'm going to have to pay the tax. They will not ask you questions. They will not ask you any questions. Trust me. You don't, you don't worry already, about the tax. I'll already, handle the tax. I, I can hire already, a tax accountant on your dime because have, I, I don't have a lot of... I have like 9000 in my checking and that's it. Look at all the money you right, have. So, you have all kinds yeah, of PayPal so money. You can afford is that it. When you go to your bank, can you listen to me for a while? I'm saying that when you go to your bank, we have already had a word with your bank. So they will not ask you any questions. Who did you speak to at my bank? Because my banking team has already had a word with your banking team. So you don't have to worry about the details and the paperwork. You just no, have to I, go I, to the teller. I'm sorry, I need a copy of the receipt. I need a copy of the, the transaction. You... You can't talk to my bank without my permission. You didn't even ask my permission to speak to my bank. I, I am Why just getting so fed up with this whole thing. Uh, let me speak to somebody else because I, I'm sorry. You're just probably a young boy and you don't know the. the if you don't pay your tax, I'm not going to go take out that money until we settle the tax bill. What time is your office open until? Because I'm I'm going to have to call back after I. What will you ask them after calling them? Well, if I'm going to ask them, them to, and to if you ask tell me them why my balance got drained down to zero. Then they will block your account because that money which is there in your account, that is not supposed to I, be there. That I have been with money. Bank of America for the better part of 25 years. They would be foolish to, to block, my, uh, block my account. No, they will do that because this is uh, how they work. This is how they earn money. Who, who are you? to threaten my, uh, my livelihood in my bank and not pay the tax. You just come in here, it, there's hackers that got into my PayPal account, and then I have the Norton giving me a refund of 20000 Oh, my God. You're just getting confused. You're just getting panicked. Why are you not following my simple instructions? You split the know. damn transaction into two separate things, not me. That was all because of you. It's your fault, and I'm not going to pay. Are you? I'm not paying those taxes out of my pocket. You're going to pay it. So you don't, you don't pay it. I'm not asking you to pay it. Did I ask you to pay anything from your pocket? Yes, you did. You said that I was going to be responsible if I, and you want me to go take, uh, took out uh, twenty thousand in cash. Right. You're a damn fool. I'm, I'm eighty-two years old, sir. What am I going to do with $20,000 walking around uh, with cash? You, don't, I, but you, don't you just have don't make to any go sense. Anywhere. You don't have to walk anywhere. You can just transfer. I will give you uh, the location. You just have to go to that location and deposit the cash. That's it. I'll took that money out and I'll go spend it. I'll go buy myself a few nice things and we'll see, we'll see how, how, how smart you are after that.
uh, most most people in this circumstance would probably just took your money and run away. They wouldn't even give you the time of day. I understand it, madam. So you are you going to withdraw the cash? Yes or no? No, I'm not going to take out the cash. You've lost your damn then mind. How, You're, you've gone then mad. how will we get the money back? Well, I think at this point I might just keep the money. How does that sound? Oh my God, please don't say that. Because if you take the money, then my company is going to put me in jail. They will take the money from my pocket. I don't have that kind of money to pay my company. Well, okay? I, so please don't tell get, that. Get, how long of a jail sentence would that be? Because you're going to be there uh, probably for a couple of years, I would guess. And don't forget, you owe me an extra $200 for the second refund. Yes. I will pay that to you. I'm not denying that fact. I'm not even going to ask I'm you where you're going to get the money, but you better pay up that $200 you owe me. Yes, yes, I will pay, definitely. You have my word. Okay, well, go ahead. Pay, pay me the $200. And... You just go ahead and subtract that $200 from the full amount. No, that's not my money. My money is the $400. Oh, my goodness. You're not understanding what I'm trying to say. Yes, I understand it perfectly well. You're you're an ignorant little fool, and you you think you're just going to get out of uh, paying me the rest of my money just because of a, a simple mistake. But first you need to return me my money, then I will give you your refund. You obviously don't care. It, it sounds like you just have a lot of money. How much money does PayPal have anyways? I don't know. Sign into the bank and check if they have that option of transferring. If they have the uh, option of transferring the funds, then I'm going to give you the account number and the routing number. You can just transfer it online. You don't have to go to your bank, okay? Oh, my God. I'm 82 years old. I, I can get logged into my bank, but you're going to have to do the hard part. Okay, all right. I will just check it. You just log in. I will just check it for you. Okay, hold on. My God. As soon as I get logged into my bank, it turns to a blue screen. Once the screen is back, just let me know. Okay, it, it's back. It's back right now. Okay, just read it, what it is coming up. Send money to or from other banks or uh, to someone else using an account number. Okay, so you just do all the work. I, I, I did my part. You just put that money okay, back where it on, came from. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you see... It is giving the option transfer to other bank, right? Yes, put in all your information. I, I don't want to know right. it. You just take care of it. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Hold on, let me put that information, okay? We are giving you the account number of one of our managers, okay? Okay. And she has, her name is Jennifer. Okay, now whatever is coming up on the screen, just let me know. Uh looks like it says error we need some additional information to process this request there's the toll-free right. number i see the number i can just call them right now uh what time are you open until we are open till six in the evening what is coming up can you see we are unable to verify the information you provided please try your request again that means that the option is there but your bank is not going to do that because what's happening is that your bank they might have like the server might not be working and that's the reason they're not able to do it okay maybe so uh, what you need to do i think i know what happened go, i think jennifer cashed a bad check and she wrote your name down in the reference maybe you should try no, a different no, bank no. account no that's not right what that's probably do, what madam, happened if you write a bad check that's what happens so she probably jotted down a bad check. I, I would recommend you try a different bank account. That's probably the best bet. Okay, hold on. Let me just try and see if it works. Because if it doesn't work, then you have to go to the bank and withdraw the cash. Because that is the only option left. Okay? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to take out $20,000. You've gone mad, Then sir. how much are you going to take out? I, I'm, I'm not taking out 20000 Then how much are you going to take out? 
take out 20000 and do what with it? Bring it back home and, and sit you. around with the money? I will... No, no, no. I will tell you what you need to do. Why are you getting so afraid? Why are you getting so nervous? You want me to take out $20,000 and then you're going to tell me what to do? I will give you a location. You just have to go to the location and you have to deposit the cash. That's yeah, no, there's nothing weird about that. Yeah, so why are you it, getting so nervous? You don't know what kind of life it is, what, what life is like where I live. You have no idea what it's like to be poor and desperate on the street. Because that's what I deal with on a daily basis. There's a lot of poor people I around understand. me. You don't have and they're going to try to took my money and run away. To, you don't have to go anywhere far. I live okay. in the mean that streets of Davenport. It's awful here. I, I wish I... I understand. I, you, you have the life, uh, life of luxury living in California while the rest of America is starving. Who the hell are you to try to tell me from your high throne of, uh, to, to took my money out and just uh, do whatever, and then you're going to tell me what to do? I'm sure you will. I'm not, okay. not going to drive to Nashville. I'm not driving to Tennessee. I, 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 don't, I, I couldn't no, no, make no, it to no. California. You don't have I'm, to I'm not going to took that money out and drive of... halfway across the country be... just because of your mistake. It will be just a couple of kilometers, okay? No, we don't go by kilometers in America. Aren't you in California? Yes. How many miles is it? Can you uh, tell me your zip code? Five you two are right eight. Now? Five two eight zero oh four. I didn't get you. I know you've been struggling to get me. Can I speak to your boss? Please put your supervisor on the phone. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me just try and see if my supervisor is free. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I'm so stupid. I can't do anything right. Yeah, uh, hi ma'am. This is Brian Bucci. I'm the senior, senior senior supervisor on the floor. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm I'm not doing so good. My my back is killing me. I'm, I'm having a stressful you. day. See ma'am, you have received the funds that $20,000 that is not belongs to you. It belongs right. to our company. Yes. And I do understand you are a very honest lady in the U.S. Well, and you I... are very loyal as well. So you, well, cannot I... keep, you cannot keep our money like that. So if you are very honest and very loyal, so what you have to do, you can just simply make a transfer into our account. Right. That's what the last guy was trying to do, but it didn't work. What is, what is the problem of yours? Could you just tell me so I could understand? I can get the other step for you? Well, I, I'm going to have to call my bank to try to get the, uh, to get the money transferred back to your account. Because it's, your uh, bank, see, ma'am, your bank, your bank cannot transfer until or unless we are not going to provide you the information. So you should understand this thing. You made a mistake. I do understand that you haven't done intentionally. It was just an honest mistake from your end. So if no, you did a mistake, I, so you could I understand. I didn't make any mistake. I, it was the other guy. It was the other guy I was talking to. It was his fault, not me. His fault? Yes. Not the guy's fault. He told me, just now he told me that he you did have it. put extra zero while he, you are typing from your keyboard. You have put extra zero. That is the reason the money has been transferred in cent of in cent of your refund amount has been transferred twenty thousand dollars. You can't it's trust mistake, that, ma'am. You can't trust that boy. He he's not right. He's he is my he is my uh, representative. He was working ten years. How could I will not believe on him? Because he's a damn liar. That's why. He's a, he's a he's damn a, liar. Yes, he's a damn See, liar. However, how how however however the the thing got occurred. Of the, of the mistake of the circumstances has happened. So what you have to do, simple as that, ma'am, you are like my grandmother. I'm just like your grandson. I'm just oh, only oh. the age of 40 years old. I have a four children. You if, have a four? if the money will not get refund, if the money will not get refund into our, into our company account, I am the person, I will lose my job. And either you can, you can also fall in a big trouble because this is a totally crime. You cannot... Keep 
anyone money into your account. So you're saying I can just keep that money? Do you think that you can keep those money with you into your account? I don't mind if you just want to keep it safe for a little while. That other guy the was telling me I have to go to my bank why, and took it out of my bank in bank, cash. Why you cannot go to your bank and make a simple transfer into our account? Oh, okay. I well, is it the same uh, account in Tennessee? Not in the same account because the money which you have received that is our that is our business account. It's just only we can only send the money. We cannot take the money in the same account. I can give you the another account. Then on that account, you can go go to your bank and simply make a transfer. See, ma'am, I I am very nervous right now because I'm sweating like anything because I have a four children. If I won't get the money to my company bank account, I'm the I'm the first person I will lose my job from my company. Oh my Even goodness. I don't I... want that because if I will lose my job. I cannot feed my four children, my mother and my father. The God is the God is looking everything. If you do if you do good to for anyone, definitely you will get everything. Just keep in your mind you are helping me to save my job. Okay. okay? Well, I guess I could I'm do giving that. you I'm giving you all the information with the another bank account. You just need to make the wire transfer in that account. What you have to do, ma'am, the simple as that, you need to go to your bank, and go to the teller counter, and tell them, I want to make a wire transfer in this account. I will give you all the information of the name of the person in which account you have to make a transfer. And if they are going to ask you, in the, they are going to give you a form, the wire form, you have to fill it out. And on that form, you will see there is a reason of the transfer. On the left hand side, you will see that. So, what the reason you are going to put that in? What you are going to write in the reason of transfer? Could you just tell me? Oh, but I I don't even know what should I put in there. What should okay. I say? The reason would be the reason would be you are not going to discuss that you have got extra money from the company account. Otherwise, they will put the taxes on that. The use taxes some around eight to nine percent taxes. See, oh this God. is the mistake what happened. I, uh, I, we don't want that. We are going to pay our taxes just for the mistake. Either I don't want that you are going to pay any taxes just for the silly mistake which had occurred. The, the simple as that, the reason you have write down over there, medical treatment. I'm transferring this money to one of my friends as for the medical treatment. Now my job in your hand Please save my job. I have a two son and two daughter. And I, I'm the only one son of my mom and dad. I survive my family member. If I will lose my job, I cannot feed them, ma'am. Please okay. help me out. It's a request from my end. I'm the, ma I'm the senior supervisor on the floor. My name is Brian Bushy. Please, I'm just like your grandson. Yes, now I talk with that colleague. Talk, talk with that colleague. He will go ahead and give you all the information and please follow his instruction, how, they are how he is telling you, step by step. Just keep in your mind, the reason would be transferring, the reason would be medical treatment. That's all. Okay? Okay. okay. Well, uh, thank you, Brian. You helped me feel a lot better. Okay. Now, I will, like, you had a word with my senior. You were asking to speak to my supervisor, and I believe yes, he has so explained to you, right? He he is a good man. I can tell just by hearing his voice. He is a nice man. And you're lucky okay. to have a boss as nice as he is. Okay, all right. So just give me a moment. I will give the information on your notepad. You just make a note of it, okay, on a piece of paper. And okay. do not make any mistakes. Boy, let me tell you, can I speak to that Jennifer girl? I, I would like to have a word with her because I'm going to be transferring her $20,000. I want to make sure she's aware of the, the transaction that's about to happen. She is aware. Why do you want to speak with her? She is aware. Well, it's her bank account. It's, it, it would just be nice if I could have a word with her to make sure she understands it. I'm going to be transferring will, her $20,000. She will I, not be able to talk to you, ma'am. That's not possible. 
my God. I Now I'm worried. So she doesn't even know that I'm about to bless her with $20,000 in her bank account. She knows it, madam, but she is not available to talk to you right now. What is going on here? What? What is your major malfunction? Why can't I uh, just have a word with her? It's, I, I'm going to hung up this call, but uh, if Jennifer gets... Uh, gets word of this and she needs to talk to me uh you have my 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 now, uh, cell phone yes, number you can I call understand. me back now you are trying to make up excuses to keep the money right well i'm gonna keep the money safe until i have a word with the jennifer because it's her no, bank account and it's possible. only right so if if you don't have a word with her then you are not going to return the money right basically yeah but i i have to talk to the account yeah, holder before i'm transferring somebody basically, twenty thousand. I'm sorry, yeah, but basically I basically you are just trying to steal the money. Now I know. Now I'm just going to file a case and now you will be the person who will be landing up in jail. Now You're gonna take money. me to court? Are you threatening legal action against me? Yes. Well I'll have you know I've been sued many times. I am no stranger to litigation. I enjoy every That's minute of it. That's not a problem. You can enjoy. You can have a good time. I have a lawyer and everything. I, I'm not worried about that. Yes, you can have a good time. That's what I'm saying. I love it when because people take me to court. To it's me. one of my... You are just trying to make it's... things more complicated. And that's what you are trying to do. You're not so you're going to sue me rather than just let me speak to the account holder. That doesn't make any sense. I, I don't believe I'm asking possible. for too much. If, if it is not possible for her to speak to you, then how can I make her speak to you? Why can't she speak possible? to me? Because Why? she is a much senior to me. I don't have the clearance to talk to her directly. I can make a request. If she wants to speak to you, maybe later on she will speak. Okay. But you have to make the transfer first. No, I'm not going to do that. I need to speak to Jenny, and then I can do the the transfer after that. Hold on, hold on. You talk to Brian. I think you only understand what he says. You don't understand me. Hi, ma'am. This is Brian Bushy once again, the manager. What's that? Hello. Brian? This is, yeah, this is Brian Bushy once oh, again. Oh, okay. I talked that to other guy was saying I can't speak to the account holder. I'm about to transfer $20,000 to, and I thought that didn't so uh, sound right. I was I was telling you you are speaking with supervisor the Brian Bushy you had a oh, word with me. Okay, uh, so I can't speak to the Jennifer. That's the only thing I. It's starting to make me worried. I can't even speak to the account holder. But I I'm going to transfer twenty thousand to into that bank See, account. Jennifer Jennifer Moray she is she is our officer. She is the person she will receive the money. Okay. All right. Yeah, twenty thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. You made, see, ma'am. As I told you, it was a mistake. I I do understand. You haven't done intentionally. It was just an honest mistake from your end. It was or my, that other guy's fault. End. It wasn't from my fault at all. I, I'm an honest lady, okay. and I, I'm not going to. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I think so. It uh, he made a mistake. Might be he made a mistake. And he have transfer you twenty thousand dollars. However, however, ma'am, whatever like his mistake or your mistake, the 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 end of the day that you have received the twenty thousand dollars into your account, and this money is not belongs to you. It belongs to our company. Am I right? Right. It doesn't belong to me. And it doesn't belong to Jennifer. Uh, I, Jennifer I have to ma'am. See, you should return the money. The, the the name which I'm giving you, that is not your lookout. You should return our money in in the in our account. If we are giving you this account, means uh, Jennifer is she is our senior manager of right. the company. I have to that talk to reason. her first. After I speak to her, I'll transfer the money right away. Why you want to speak? Any reason about this? You want to speak with her? Well, I just want to make sure everything is. Okay. Okay, you just hold down. Let me uh, let me connect to Jennifer so you can believe on me. 
I'm not lying with you at all. I have a four children. Okay. I don't want to lie with you, ma'am. You are like my grandmother. Just hold down. I will connect to Jennifer, so you can you can trust on me. You can believe on me. Okay. Just be just be on the line for a while. Just give me a sec. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi, ma'am. This is Jennifer Moore. Well, uh, How well, hey, back at you, Jennifer. I just had a couple of questions for you, seeing as you're a senior manager at the PayPal. Uh, PayPal. Yes. Ask How long have you been with the company? Since 10 years. 10 years, okay. And uh, yes. now, is this a common practice for um, me to... Uh, I was overpaid by PayPal. They sent me uh, $20,000 by mistakenly. Is it a common practice mm -hmm. uh, for me to, uh, or any customers of yours, to put $20,000 into your private account? Yes, ma'am. By mistakenly, they send you that money from the PayPal account. So you need to transfer that money to our account. What, uh, what, what, where, where are you located? California. Hello? The other guy said you were in Tennessee. Something just doesn't make sense here. Yes. What's, I what's going in on? California, but I, I work in Tennessee. Why are you whispering? I, I'm getting panicked. The other guy told me you're in Tennessee, but you're saying you're in the California. Yes, I, I'm working in Tennessee since 10 years, but I lived in California. My hometown is California. Are you, are you in the California detail. that's closer to Texas or the California that's in, uh, closer to Florida? My manager is providing you all the details I see on my system. You just need to go ahead and transfer that money. But your hometown is in California, is that right? Yes, my hometown, my born place is California. Are you on and the Texas say, side or I'm are you on the Florida side? For my work purpose. Are you on the Texas side of California or are you on the Florida side of California? Florida side. You're on the Florida side? Well, yes. that makes me feel better, I guess, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, Okay, ma'am. I'm busy right now. I'm going to transfer in this call to my manager. You can ask him whatever you want, okay? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Thanks. See, ma'am, uh, the thing is that the information which I gave you is belongs to my company only. She is the manager of our company. That is the reason you can transfer this money easily. So once she will get the money, she sounded once like a hostage. Once she will get the money in, in her she account, didn't, see, once she will get the money in her account, there was something wrong with her. She will transfer the money in her and company. And you know what account. she said? She yeah, hello? said she was going to transfer the call to her manager, and then you're back on the phone. So is she your manager, or are you her manager? I, no, I, I am the supervisor. She is the manager. You wish, you had a word with Jennifer. She is the manager of our company, and I am the supervisor. Ma'am, see, ma'am, my my job is on the line. I am very nervous about this. Why, why, why could you not understand my situation at this point of time? My money, if I'm telling you send this money to in, in their account, so what is your problem, ma'am? I don't, I do not understand the thing. I, I don't really have a problem. I, the, my problem really you is. You promise me. You are. You promise me that you have. You are going to save my job. As I told you, ma'am, I have a four children. I don't want to lose my job for this kind of for this kind of silly mistake. I'll I'll talk to my bank people and ask them what I should do, because uh, something just not uh, doesn't seem right. Something seems fishy. What, what doesn't what doesn't seems not right? Tell me the reason. Well, I I don't know. The lady told me she's on the Florida side of California, and that there. Ma'am, I that, don't know what. What was the purpose? Whether she live in California, whether she live in, uh, whether she live in, uh, like Tennessee, whether she live in Canada, it doesn't make any sense. Well, you the bank the address money, that you gave you me is in Massachusetts. The money back to us. That's all. So it doesn't seem right. Who? I don't have any bank accounts in any other states except for Iowa. Ma'am, again, you are you are asking me the same thing. The, the the money which you have received that is our business account only from that account. account only we can send the money 
we cannot receive the funds on that bank account. And now you're Which telling only me the, you have a... Yeah, it's you only have, the... Well, Oh, well, hold that on. Bank only now you're telling me you don't have a bank account money. that you can put money into. So what kind of a person has a bank account that they can't put money into? You tell me that. It was, Mommy, I, they told you it was a mistake. Yeah, so you have a bank account, but you can't put money in it? That is our business account. Only we can send oh. money. We cannot Why would a business money on need that to account? put money into their account, I guess? That, that makes sense. I mean, if you're a business, you, Madam, the last thing you want is money going into your bank account. You, you, you are just, you are just asking me a lot of questions, which which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, none of this makes sense. If you receive extra money, if you receive it in any extra money, so you should return the money back to their account. I, I don't know. I, I, Ma'am, uh, if I would. If I would be, if I would be in your son's place, if your son can, if your son made a mistake, uh, you, what, what, what you do on that time? You are not going to help your son. Well, I would, I would probably call him an idiot for making a mistake. So, you I think I'm just going to have to call my bank account? and ask. Because Sorry? you told me to say it's a medical thing, but my bank, I, I, I don't know. I've been with my bank for twenty, twenty-five years, and. They should, uh, okay. they should be able to help me if I call them and just tell them everything from everything that if happened. If you are going to speak with your bank, if your bank will come to know that twenty thousand dollar was uh, transfer from the business account, they are going to put a lot of charges on that. Oh, GST, okay. A lot of tax. Ma'am, could you just go ahead and make the transfer our money back to our? To the Jennifer Moray account? No, I'm sorry. I, something's just not why right you about can't, this. Why you, ma'am, it, it is a very easiest way, ma'am. You have, you received the funds by mistakely. In the same way, you can go to your bank and make the wire transfer. That's all, ma'am. I think I'm going to call the bank and ask what they think about this account. The bank people will could not help you out, ma'am. Yes, they can. What They're, they will do? That's their what job. What they will do? They'll probably help me out, and they'll probably say that, uh... What? Ma'am, if you're not going to help us, then what I will do, we are going to take all the money from your account. Okay, go ahead. On that time, your bank could not help you out. Go ahead. You can take the money out of my account. I'd, I'd rather do it that way than having to go to my bank myself. I... You go ahead. You have my permission to took your money out of the bank. Why you can't help me out, ma'am, to uh, return my money back? What is your problem? Because there's something I don't want weird to go for, going on. I don't want to go for illegal. I don't want to go for illegal purpose. I just want my money back, which you have received. That's all. Well, I, the problem started when she told me she's on the Florida side of California. Where exactly is that? Ma'am, whether she is from California, she is from Tennessee, she is from Texas, whatever. What's the problem? What's your problem? Right. Can uh, can you do one thing? Uh, can you send me a copy of Jennifer's driver's license? And I can verify the address, and that way I would feel an awful lot better about sending the money. Hello? Hello? Uh, yes, this is Adam, the senior supervisor. How are you? All right. See, ma'am, right now my name is Adam, okay, and I am the fraudulent officer on the floor, okay? I just came to know all the information that you guys were having, okay? I came to know about all the conversations, and it seems like something is wrong with you because right now you have the bank, like you have the balance in your bank account, right? Tell me one thing, what do you see on your computer right now? Well, I, I disconnected it. I unplugged it from the wall because it kept going to a blue screen and it just says no, updating. You were not, you were not supposed so to I do turned that. it off. You were not supposed to do that. Okay. I turned off Tell my PC, thing, Adam. All right. Tell me one thing, ma'am. Do you accept the fact that you have received some extra money from our company? Do you agree with the fact? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. And are you willing to return that, that money back to our company? Y yes. I'm willing to do okay. that. So if you are willing to return our company's money, then how would you return it back? By with the help of a bank? That's where I'm confused. And I this is twenty thousand yeah. dollars. It's not like 
just a couple of hundred First dollars of all, here. This me, is a lot of money. you to plug off, off your computer? You were not supposed to touch your computer or touch any kind of button. Are you, you making you my screen? Computer? Are you making my screen blue and making it update so I can't see what you're doing? No, it's not like that, Kitboga. You have Kitboga. What is that? <laughs> That's a love language. Well, I get the feeling that you don't love me. <laughs> he hung up. I promise. I'm 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 spelling it out again. B R U A U.